More amazing Motu figures are coming to Origins and the Cartoon Collection, and Delta 17 figures have hit the U.S. shores. Join us as we host the brain children behind the line, Ken from Toy Connections, and Steve as we talk Delta 17 right now on Toy Habit Live. And before we go live, smash that like button, turn on notifications, and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss a beat. Hey everyone, welcome back to Toy Habits. I'm Michael. And I'm the Toy Sorceress, and you're watching Toy Habits Live. How's it going, Michael? I am good. So happy it's Friday. So happy it's, as everyone says in the chat, Toy Habits time. It's Toy Habits time. Doing? Yeah, it's been a crazy crazy work week for me and i'm sure yours has been nuts too so i'm um, you know tgif <laughs> i know those dang day jobs right they're just kind of getting in the way you know <laughs> but without that we can't buy all these cool toys <laughs> so we well, need you know what i wholeheartedly agree gotta keep mm -hmm. the day job all right fine <laughs> yeah, absolutely so we have some fun stuff to talk about today we have some awesome guests coming on in just a little in a little, little while um we're gonna get to some news first but before we do that let's go ahead and say hi to the crew and everybody in the chat <laughs> let's good. see who's let's all here let's do it we got right hand of skeletor we got our friend ken from toy connections awesome crew member and will be joining us a little later in the stream can't wait to see you ken uh, crew member Robert Alessandrini is here. Crew member Ryan Cole is here. Crew member Bigum is joining us. All Music Fan 88 is here. My Buddy's Custom is here as well. Smutty 45, Wokey Sasquatch, Laser Eye 21A. We got crew member Frankie Rivera. How's it going, Frankie? I always give him a, a joke and say, How are you enjoying the King Grace call? Because he was so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Timbo from Limbo is here. We got crew member Neil Hunter High joining us as well. Crew member Mo2D is here, and so is my computer is behind. We got crew member Giraffe joining us. Delaxian Del Del is also here. Sorry, I screwed that name up. We got crew member and part of the Toy Habits family, Baroness of Toys, is joining us. T N T S K A is here. Uh, Yur Yurikai is also joining us. Nanya Biz is here. Scott, <laughs> sorry. Uh, Steigen 360 is also here. Dwayne Otley um, is joining us. Oh, awesome friend of the channel. Jason Tran is joining us. Hey, Jason, how's it going? And he, uh, he scored me. Uh, and Andre the Giant today, and something else for you too. <laughs> you yeah. lucked out. You lucked I know, out with yeah, Ollie. Is, I was like, oh no. man, Jason, you are the best. You are becoming a. It's, it's Jason is becoming the Walmart uh, of times. Yeah, he scored me a Muhammad Ali is, and it's British Jason Bulldog. Mart now. Jason Mart. <laughs> <laughs> Free shipping and ships right away. <laughs> Jason, you're welcome. Like better than Walmart. Uh, Griff is also joining us. Uh, Steven Komarak is here. There be toys. Myth Mythic Dawson, uh, crew member Shaky Shacks, Daniel Quay is here. Vaughn Ratcliffe, Night Train, and before we end with all of our awesome <laughs> people in the chat, we got crew member Ryan Cole gifting ten. Oh Here wow! Come ten toy habits memberships to ten of you out there in the chat. Ryan, you are so cool. Thank you, you awesome. so much Thanks. for that. And uh, that is super, super sweet of you. Um, so let's go ahead and say hello to the Toy Habits crew. Did you get them all to fit on one screen, Michael? Because it's getting did. very it's, tight yeah. in there. <laughs> it's, it's very tight. But yes, uh, hello, Toy Habits crew. We have a lot of you in the chat, but we all love you and love to see you. And yeah, I mean, thanks to Ryan and folks that just keep gifting memberships. Uh, it's like the Toy Habits crew is expanding exponentially. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It's a it's getting big. <laughs> huge. Oh my god. Um but speaking of uh, huge. it's it's very exciting. 
the crew is ever growing and um you know we we thank all of you that uh are out there helping to support us um i am trying to share my window and i'm having a little technical glitch here sorry row. all right because <laughs> i got i got all the articles loaded up um shoot <laughs> give me a second no worries. Um, yeah, we've uh, we've made news this past week. Well, so yeah, we'll work we that out. You go ahead and doing it. <laughs> let's see. Let's yeah. see if this worked. I think it was just the preview that was not popping oh, okay. up. Uh, no, uh, is slowly getting there. This is what happens when I have too many windows open. <laughs> so, um, while we work this out for a second. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Uh, I just I need a moment. I'm hoping it's you just this to, one screen. You want me to load up one of them for okay. you, or do you got it? No. Um, well, I, I think I think I got it to unstuck. Okay, let's try this one more time. All right. Before we dive in, this is our big toy habits news for the week <laughs> for the night, and I'm gonna do it. I gotta do it right now. Hold on. I need this little guy with me and my mug because i need a hero i'm holding out for a hero and it's in the night i need to learn the lines to that song anyway hero <laughs> and eldor you, heard you it. did great hero and eldor are coming to motu origins in 2024 we got that confirmed by an amazing anonymous source um, but I cannot be more freaking stoked for this news. Michael, tell me how you're feeling. <laughs> I'm, I'm ecstatic. Uh, I, I love the Super 7 figures, but the Motu Origins is where it's at. It's where it started. These were supposed to come out in 87 and 88. So I'm so happy that they're doing these. And I, I could not be, I'm thrilled beyond the moon. And it's just, it's so exciting to get uh new motu figures plus like they go so well with eternia yes absolutely and this just confirms what we all, all have been waiting for and have got a small little taste of powers of gray skull are coming and later on in 2024 and we are gonna get freaking hero and eldor in the line in <laughs> motu origins form the way they have always meant to be um and it would and we don't have details as to how they're coming to the line, what retailer they're coming through. Are they going to be a uh, Mattel Cruz exclusive? We don't know. Um, will they be packed in a two pack? That's an, an awesome packaging. We don't know that yet either. But you know, like these guys are excited. <laughs> that would be really cool. So, Michael, while we go through this, tell me your thoughts on um the delivery method for Hero and Elder, what what would you like to see? Well, I definitely don't want to see them come to Walmart. Um, so <laughs> that's one thing. I would actually like them to be just Mattel <laughs> Cruz. Anybody... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. And, you know, um... <laughs> It, it would be like a dagger through my heart if all of a sudden this was said like they're going to Walmart. Like I, I, I don't think yeah. I'd be able to freaking handle it. Um, this is <laughs> this is the prototype version of Hero uh, as he was shown in like a catalog in 1985 that was planned to be coming out to the line as the continuation of He-Man's story that never happened, and it was supposed to be part of the powers of Grayskull and Super Seven knocked it out of the park by recreating this figure. It looks almost identical. I love that. But of course, you know, it's got the only five points of articulation. And we've been waiting for this gold back metal goodness to hit Origins for so long. Well, yeah, that's, um, that's actually I would one, love one detail that we do know about is it's going to be back metal, which is great. Yes, and I did not say that in the article because I didn't want to put that in writing. <laughs> I All thought right. we were supposed to keep that one, one, one detail hush it. hush, but now it's out there. Okay. I don't think so. It's, <laughs> no big deal. It already, it's no already back metal in the Super 7 version, so it's all good. <laughs> yeah, so it is, yes, so it is going to be back metal. You heard it here, you heard it here first. 
uh, we have confirmation that he is going to be shiny back metal goodness. And, you know, we, we saw Hero just recently teased on the incredible uh, Eternia box art. He was right here, right by the lion's uh, right paw, front and center, looking all amazing, teasing us. And um, not only did that tease us, if you remember several months back, Axel Jimenez posted just a simple post saying working. And we didn't know if it was because he was including Hero on the back of um, some card art because Hero did appear on, um, I think, wh which one was it? One of one of the Snake Man card backs. It's not coming to me right now. Yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, That's okay. Anyway. It was one of the recent like Mattel creations ones and um, we got this. And so all of us jumped to conclusions, hoping that it was going to be that he's coming to the line. And, you know, we have Eldor, of course, can't have hero without Eldor. Um, he's going to look incredible. Uh, hopefully he comes with some kind of magic spell book. Um, and we had a similar post uh, just recently as well from Axel Jimenez with the same kind of a quote saying that he was working. And so um, that tells us that, uh, you know, <laughs> we have lots of hints, you know, we, we did see Eldar as well on this incredible card back for uh camel con with, you know, <laughs> there's so many teases on it, Michael, we got giants, we got dinosaurs, everything's going on on this card back. We got Shirella there. There's King Grayskull. Um, but you know, when we saw this originally, it got us so excited. Um, I, I am over the moon about this, obviously. And, um, I would love to see this come out in some kind of really beautifully packed, um, uh, special edition two pack with some gorgeous uh, artwork, you know, wrapping around the whole box that would look amazing. Right. Yeah, I kind of like Giraffe's idea of coming a three-pack hero, Eldor, and Gigant Gigantosaur. <laughs> That'd be awesome. So, oh my god, that would be that would be insane, right? <laughs> so hero's your favorite figure, right? You know, that would actually like kill me. Yeah, hero is my favorite figure. That's why obviously I'm like you can't tell I'm like abundantly excited about this news. Um, he's my favorite character, but could you imagine if they packed him with like uh, a crowd fund project and made him like one of the unlocked tiers? That would kill me. Oh, gosh, <laughs> you gotta buy a six hundred dollar dinosaur <laughs> to get him. I know, right? <laughs> yes. So okay, let's All right, maybe, giraffes, like, maybe not giraffe. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Sorry, giraffe. Next. Yeah. Well, maybe pack him with like the T Rex or something, right? So that would be kind of cool, and that's probably that's yeah. more like retail sized. Yeah, they yeah. they need to start or, putting or, these guys um, like on the card race packaging like though. Yeah, yeah, oh my god, I know. I I don't know about you, and I love the snake men, but I'm like so over it. Let's move on past the snake men packaging and onto the powers of grace call packaging because yeah. this card out card art is just gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, it's Let's totally it. gorgeous. Uh, yeah, the hero and Eldor can't wait to see yeah. what they actually turn out to be. Um, yeah, I mean, I would love them to come to Mattel Creations exclusive, barring the shipping out, you know, shipping aside, I hope they figure all that stuff out. And I don't know if they've done it yet, but um, yes, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if they will, um, but I'm hoping that they do figure it out because this this is a figure that all of our Motu fans out there deserve to have the chance to buy and get into their collection because it would be such a shame if they did not. Uh, yeah. And I'm sorry, I don't know if my screen just blacked out on you. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. If we, I'm trying to close some windows so that uh, I uh, open up a little bit more of my um, bandwidth. But if you want to read more about Hero and Eldor, Head over to toyhabits.com. We have an article about them coming to the Motu Origins line, and there's a whole history about each of the characters, um, what their you know origins are, and um, all the different iterations of the figures. So if you're interested in Hero and Eldor, head over to Toy Habits. This is a great, great resource. It's got amazing 
um, information there about every version of Hero and Elder that's come out. And so uh, that is awesome news. I got to tell you, I want to hear from the chat a little bit um, and let's check in and see how they are feeling about this. Um, Clint says that uh, Hero will be a Toys R Us Grease exclusive. <laughs> That would be not, a, right? great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Put him on an island. So nobody can get him. Hold him. I know. So that nobody can have them, right? <laughs> Black Phoenix says that uh, they love the Super 7 version. So do I. I absolutely do. Dave Chanelli, Toy Sources, would you say Hero is doing a good job? Yes, he is. <laughs> and... Uh, Black Phoenix. I need a hero, but they're expense uh, exclusives. I'm gonna lose it. I think all of us would freaking lose it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Jason Chan says he hopes it's a fan channel exclusive. Uh, I do too. Nanya Biz, don't even joke around saying that they're <laughs> going to Walmart. <laughs> a lot of people are Dude. saying Walmart exclusive. I hope not. They will no. be impossible. <laughs> I think with the latest uh, Snake yeah. Men debacle yeah, that Walmart let's, had. Let's not even I put hope, that out there for the toy gods. Yeah. I hope that Walmart is reconsidering. <laughs> oh, my God. I know. Because nobody is going to get a hand, their hands on that. It's just like <laughs> Shrek 2 has the best version of that song. <laughs> See, the way I sing it, we're not going to get a copyright strike. <laughs> That's true. That is true. But you do a good job. Oh so I God. can't complain. Um, That's funny. <laughs> They're so fast no, on no. those copyright I gotta, things. I gotta figure out the lines. You play like I two know. seconds of a song and they're like, <laughs> give me money. <laughs> You're done. You're done. Oh my God. So, um, oh, Allison Tori snuck in here. Greetings, children. And Kenzo Creations is also here. Um, <laughs> an AOL Steigen 360 exclusive. says there'll be an that. AOL instant. Steigen, are you jumping into your time machine, going back in time and dialing up on AOL? <laughs> Can't remember oh, those days. It's so funny. Anyway, um, this is awesome. Baroness of Toys Actually, says if it was a two or three pack, you wouldn't be able to buy three one to open, one to display, and one just in case. I would still buy two or three, even if it was a two or three pack. Does she, <laughs> she has the just in case too? I'm like, right? what the heck is a just in case? I have a just in case moss man that I bought on clearance from Walmart. <laughs> you just have I an do. extra one line around. I don't know why. In case, like, just in case. Like, I do, I do. Um, and if I don't need it, you know, I, I, I may divest it to somebody who needs one. <laughs> a toy oh my gosh. It'll, it'll be a cold day in hell if that's a toy habits extension. <laughs> Not sure they'd like us very much, but <laughs> I know, hey, right? you know, we all, we can all coexist together as one happy family. Yeah. We should, I mean, you know, we're doing a lot to, uh, to help the line. We are all fans here and we want the best for Motu and for it to, to live on forever. BBTS and EE, please. Baroness, I totally cannot agree with you more. Um, whoever whoever has this, uh, hopefully it's like either Mattel Creations or Fan Channel exclusive. I, I'm actually hoping that it's Fan Channel exclusive so then all the yeah. international buyers can get it. Yeah. And then they'll take care of the packaging. Yeah, right. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll walk back my comment about Mattel awesome. Creations. Yeah, Fan Channel exclusives would be good. That's so cool. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. Um, and on that note, do we want to uh, move on to our next bit of news? Because we have uh, two more stories to talk about, and then we got some friends popping on in a little bit. Sure. Um, I'll let got? you go over uh, yours. Do you want to? Do you want to cover the um, the uh, the throne, the bone throne first? Sure. We could do that. Yes, uh, Roy and team <laughs> released the packaging and art for the Bone Throne today, which was awesome. They do such an amazing job, and that was such a like surprise today. Was not expecting that. He did the little 360 view of the movie Beastman yesterday, so I was like, oh, of course he's going to follow it up with official <laughs> images of Beastman's packaging. No, he drops this wonderful gem 
on us today, which is amazing. Um, this that, thing is that is so a beefy crazy. box. <laughs> it is a beefy box. Yeah, it's a it's a huge set too. Um, anyone in the chat? Did you order this? I forget if I did or not, which is pretty bad. Mm -hmm. I have pre order amnesia yep. because we're just pre ordering so much stuff. Um, I, th I think I did because I think it would be cool just I, having it. I lit. did. I did. <laughs> and then I had a feng shui attack. You know what? Maybe <laughs> I, I actually it, ordered this. I had a feng shui attack and canceled like a bunch of stuff. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sure it'll go, go on sale. I'm not sure this guy will sell out, but. That's all good. Maybe, maybe you're, you'll, you'll come out ahead on that one. So, yeah. But uh, tomorrow he said yeah. that we will get to see yeah, what's good. inside the box. And it reminds me of that lovely scene from the movie Seven. What's in the box? <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Holy cow. Yeah, Frankie he, he, he's a, a, a cool figure. I just, you know... Frank, you got three. Where are you gonna put them all? <laughs> the, it takes up a lot of room. That that's one reason I I canceled my pre order because I was like I only got two shelves for my Masterverse figures, and I'm like it's gonna take a lot of real estate, and it's cool, but I'm like, do I really need it? So maybe I'll change my mind when I see what's inside. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm sure you will. Yeah, I think Clint, you have some pipe dreams here. Yeah. This will be a mega set sometime. They're canceling mega sets, so I doubt it. <laughs> like, come on now. Yeah, unfortunately, all the uh, Motu uh, mega sets are canceled now. I don't know about all of them, but they did. They did cancel that uh, those those two sets that we had found pictures of. Well, the the one the ones that were supposed to be coming. The only the only yeah. like two new announced ones got canceled. So yeah, that was all. Uh, that yeah, was. <laughs> looks like a lot of people have ordered this, uh, which is cool. Um, Vex and Toy says, I think we'll get that evil Lynn with Panthor in a DLX box. I don't know what the heck's the DLX box. Oh, deluxe box. The deluxe. <laughs> like, I have like I have DMX on the mind, not DLX. BMX. <laughs> or BMX, right? We Ride are your huffy around. The after all, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> But um, yeah, so awesome. in addition to uh, the front of the box, they did, a, they well, he released a little 360 view. So we just took some shots of it. And it says, from deep within Snake Mountain, Skeletor rules from the Bone Throne, an ancient artifact crafted by the original inhabitants of Snake Mountain from the poison bones of, who the heck are these? Wyverns. The Bone, the bone Throne now serves as a conduit for Skeletor's havoc magic to seek out and capture the power of Grace Gold. That is beautifully written. That's very cool. Um, do you have an angled uh, view of the box so we can see how beefy it is? Or, um, or I, the 360, maybe? I don't right now, but um, we could take a look at the amazing art that is on here with Vex and Tubby. Actually, really cool if we got a <laughs> deluxe Panther and a Evil Lynn. Uh, Screech would be amazing, too. That would be awesome. And here's the operative question, Michael. Flocked or not flocked? No, don't flock it. <laughs> what do you think? I'm over flocking. Oh, you're Moss killing it. Panther has more. to be flocked. No. <laughs> Panther has to be flocked, in my opinion. I'm completely on the opposite side of you on that one. Yeah. If he's plastic, I don't I think I'm getting it. <laughs> Yeah, the the Mondo, I guess one of the Mondo versions of Panther was flocked, but I don't know. I think it makes him look too cheesy. Maybe on a smaller figure, it'd be better. Yeah. Yeah. I did like, I mean, I did like the That's original me, Origins yeah, yeah. Panther flock, but a Masterverse Panther, I don't know. It's kind of big. Yeah, that's true. And hopefully, hopefully they keep like his classic design. Um, I still want a, a proper battle cap for Masterverse because the one we got was a Revelation battle cap and he looks yeah. very stylized. Not that he wasn't cool and he kind of had, you know, you take his, his helmet off and he had the cringer face. So that was like an added benefit and I did get him. Um, but, you know, he still is a little stylized in my opinion that I would love a question. Yeah. 
Yeah, yes. Blocking is kind of Panthor's thing. Nuno Biz, I don't want another evil in. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right. Like, how many man at arms? How many lins? How many? They'll just keep making all of them and people will buy them, except for Nuno Biz. Absolutely. <laughs> Allison Troy says Flipper is going to break into Toy Sorcerer's house and steal her display moss fan. And then she's got the just in case one, which makes perfect sense. See? Yeah, makes She's Total thinking sense. straight. <laughs> you never know what's <laughs> going to happen if you get one stolen or stolen. <laughs> hey, I see. did have Man at Arms take a dive off my shelf and break a hand, like clean right off with the peg inside. So you never know. You have the worst like luck with toys, That's like out of anybody that I've known. <laughs> I know. See, that's why I love Mossman so much that I had to have an extra one. God forbid he break. Yeah. <laughs> love that head sculpt and the box is great. So on here, we can see the classic Merman illustrated in here. And uh, what did you think of the uh, reveal on that figure? <laughs> oh, the the new Eternia Merman? Because that was one of the advertisements. Yeah, the new Eternia. Yeah, well, I wasn't a fan of the head sculpt, but I'm just hoping that all of the stuff looks a lot better in hand, which it typically does. Uh, you know, remember the the other M merman from the cartoon collection? It looked kind of weird, mm -hmm. but then it looked better in yeah. hand. So it's all good. Yeah. And if I recall, we only had that one image of merman, if I'm not mistaken, which was like a uh, kind of like the prototype just the, the white yes. background, yes. which is going to bring me to another point of the, one of the next stories we talk about, because that means there is hope and room for improvement. And I'll put a pin in that until we get to our next story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could probably uh, move to that too, just to speed stuff along. All right, cool. Um, on, on, on that note... Um, we will move over to our next story. We'll save uh, our cartoon collection one for last. But one of the items that we covered last week was Leatherhead's official images. And uh, we have discovered his listing on Walmart. Now, I don't think uh, he's, he's not up for sale yet. So he shows no. out of stock. But the interesting thing about this was his official images. And at first you noted this this color change in his um his little you know uh which we call it bear trap. It was like a clear plastic blue and now it's green. But there was a lot more that changed here, Michael. And with a keen eye and thanks to Mega J Retro, I did, you know, when we this came out, I noticed some slight variations, but I think when we were putting this out, it was so busy with work. I didn't like dive into the photographs, but Mega J put out an awesome video and pointed out some really amazing updates to Leatherhead. And uh, you want me to walk everyone through them? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> now. Yeah, okay, as soon as my screen gets back to blank, I'm sorry, folks. Okay, <laughs> I'm still, I still got a blank screen here. Okay, so um, if you recall, and I'm trying to find the original, I guess I did not open up the original picture in another window. I'm sorry, I got to just uh, go back to that. Okay, so if you recall the original image of Leatherhead, what looked like this, it was just the, the image with the white background, similar to what we were saying with Merman, so it was just a single image. He looked really cute. You know, he looked like cartoony, like his animated look, and you can see his hat, and then we learned now that this is now a helmet. Um, but, you know, the one thing that did stand out here a lot was this hollow tail that he's got. You can see the uh, kind of, you know, um, cross-haired versions of that, and I'm going to just zoom in on this a little bit. And so that was a little bit of a bummer. That he had a hollow tail, but his, I think you know overall he looked he looked pretty good. His hands were a bit big, if you ask me, and I think that maybe it was like a reuse of the ones I used for like the mutated merman. Uh, not a hundred percent sure, but they look very similar to that. Well, if you take a look at the new images that got released, his head sculpt is totally updated. Um, 
He's got a lot more detail in it. You know, his eyes are more detailed. They're more like crocodile-like. And if you notice right here in his lower jaw, there's some indents in there. And what that's for is if you close his mouth and he's got his, his upper jaw kind of sticks out a little bit, there's room for his teeth to, to sit there so that they stick out like a, like a crocodile actually does. And um, <laughs> it looks really cool when his mouth is closed. So that's one big update on there. And what do you think of that new head sculpt? His new head sculpt looks great, but I'm getting a little distracted by a uh, highly in dreads <laughs> uh, comment there. I, just, oh, no. I actually just pulled, <laughs> actually just pulled this up. So um, okay, so yeah, I anyway, will let you go ahead. I will let you get those pulled up, and we'll we'll be done with Leatherhead super fast. Um, here you can see that 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 extra accessory was like a helmet. It's funny because Mega J said, is he is he gonna go swimming? Is it a swim cap? Is it a helmet? What is it? It's kind of hilarious on him. His hands have now been readjusted to a more proper looking size, I think. Uh, his gauntlets are a little bit more gold. But the one thing that you can tell here is his tail is now full. Um, whereas before it had, you know, hollowness to it. You can see here from this back image, he has a full tail. Uh, nice. And he's looking really good. So the one lesson to be learned here, and we're going to jump to Viper's pictures in just a second, there's room for improvement. So we have some hope that maybe, <laughs> maybe our Merman, uh, new attorney of Merman may get improved before it's released. Now, Michael, I'm going to let you go ahead and jump onto Viper. Oh yeah. This is like, yeah, this is like news at yeah, as, right. as it unfolds. Uh, oops. All right. So yes, this has been yeah. the one picture that we've seen of Vipor. And so let's see if we can, oh my gosh, wow. He looks amazing. I knew they would change the gold on this figure oh, wow. to be more of a deeper gold. So cool. It's got the real chains. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah. So we were reading in the description too, that he has an articulated jaw. And so it's cool to see his mouth open. Uh, that looks like, that looks really oh, yeah. cool. That looks awesome. It's funny. You can see the feet that they've used for That's that awesome. new. Uh, is there uh, is there images with his mouth closed? Uh, yeah. I mean, this one, mm -hmm. the one that we've seen already, you know, has him with his mouth closed. Um, but yeah, such a. It's, oh, got gotcha. you. It's I more. It's more. So it doesn't. It doesn't shut more than that. It's... Yeah, he's got his little bone scepter, which is kind of a mashup of like Evil Lynn scepter and. Uh, but here, actually, we can we can drop the link uh, to to directly to the Amazon page, so everybody can enjoy the uh, the pictures as well. Uh, we have him awesome. running away from somewhere, but yeah, it looks really awesome. Oh my gosh, the you can see the articulation on the neck too in this neck joint. Oh wow, really cool. That's awesome. Um, and and we will sometime this evening have this on toyabits.com with the link for everybody so don't freak out and um <laughs> with with the images later on after the yeah. stream <laughs> i'm yeah. sure well actually you're all the people in the chat can click on the link in the chat so they can enjoy the pictures as well yeah it's funny you can see them reusing some of the newer tooling that they're doing for the stranger things that newer mm -hmm. stranger things crossover uh, vecna with he-man so they're getting their money's worth out of this tooling for sure oh yeah so that's all right. Great. Apologies for the segue he looks and interruption. Amazing. <laughs> no, I, I think this was actually great. Um that we finally got to see, you know, the final production images of Vipor. And he looks amazing. And I'm so glad that he is on Amazon, not a Walmart exclusive. This should yes. be coming then to the fan channels like EEM BBTS as well. Uh, so that is wonderful yeah. news and great confirmation to what we thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's interesting because these two are, Vipor especially was actually supposed to be going to Walmart. So it, it looks like somebody had changed their mind, maybe from the last debacle mm -hmm. with the uh, terror and Lord Grasp and somebody came to their senses and made this uh, yeah. Amazon exclusive. But I hope He's easy to get. Uh, Mini Comic Manny Faces was not. Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess we'll have to wait and see yeah. what happens if Amazon has a stranglehold on the 
uh, on the figure for a bit and then it opens up to other stores. We've seen that too. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that would probably be the case. Typically when Amazon gets exclusives, um, they tend to show up later at, at other places. I don't know about like mini comics, uh, Manny Faces. Did that ever go to anywhere else or did it just exclusively stay on I, Amazon? I think it just stayed on Amazon. Mm, okay, so then on this one, I guess we shall see. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe they got this exclusive. We don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Amazon is actually following in Walmart's shoes, too. So they actually cancel some figures as well. So let's hopefully they work out the kinks and everybody can get this really cool figure. And if you have Eternia, yeah. this is the homage to the Viper Tower. So it's a Viper Tower and an action figure. <laughs> Yes. Which is much which, smaller. Which is much what I absolutely smaller. love. About <laughs> yeah. He's got a stand right there on Viper Tower. He's going to look incredible. I can't wait to get this one. Um, I hope I hope they make it easy for everybody to get and that there's enough uh, <laughs> out there. And Rob 2023, it looks like <laughs> I'm using dial-up because my freaking internet always has issues. Didn't you guys hear that? <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, up as a, we penny, speak. <laughs> a penny for a month for internet no just kidding <laughs> no. it's funny because i have like almost I was like the, the almost most expensive internet and it's still slow the next one up is like double the cost um which is ridiculous so i don't know what i'm gonna do about it um, i love the yeah, i love the chat note, and you had just seen sorry i was just gonna say and you have just seen a toy have its news brief that's funny. Ahead, <laughs> no, the the chat the chat's keeping us honest. So yeah, the mini comic Manny Faces was also on BBTS. So um, I'm wondering if okay. BBTS just orders a bunch from Amazon and then marks them up and sells them. But I don't know. Could be. <laughs> <laughs> it it could be, and maybe that's why everybody's orders were canceled because they gave them. They probably got all bought out by BBTS. <laughs> maybe. Um, I ordered a lot of them because I just wanted all three heads. <laughs> on card so i was able to get mm -hmm. that which is neat but um we That's should move awesome. on to our last uh, story before we run out of time yes yes absolutely so uh as we reported and i will add this on to here um manny faces and ram man cartoon collection are coming to origins in 2024 um, I'm really excited about these. Uh, what do you think? I, more Ram Man than anything else out of the two. Yeah, I love I love Ram Man. I love Manny Your Faces. Thoughts? Yeah, they the um, the team threw me through a, for a loop because they re were releasing all these evil warriors together, and I was like, wait, don't they have to release a an evil warrior with a heroic warrior? No, so it looks like they're coming two by twos. Two heroic warriors are coming. So it's awesome. Yes, yeah. and yes, we need another Manny Faces. It is awesome. And we had a little bit of confirmation, right? <laughs> we had some confirmation of this on the back of Man at Arms card back art because who was breaking through the attorney and palace wall than none other than Ram Man right there as he is in his filmation look. <laughs> totally, yeah. They they dropped this so, tease really, this really is... quick in the line. I wasn't expecting them to do it that fast, but... Yeah, Ram Man's gonna look great. Uh, he's, and hopefully, they capture that dopey look that he has, uh, you know, from from the cartoon. I know, I know, and you know, I I, I was just like surfing the web, and I found this incredible custom um, from Edición No Ato Rizada. I think it's a Spanish, uh, you know, person on Facebook. Uh, this was on. Um, I forget which, what's that photo website? Anyway, it's uh, Marcos Barrentido who posted this, has a bunch of really cool images. If you want to see more, we'll actually um, show you on this article. He's got like a uh, filmation style attack track and a whole bunch of other figures, but he did do this custom filmation Ram Man. And if the one we get from the cartoon collection looks anything like this, I'm like super excited. Like he's going to be really cute. Yeah, that looks awesome. Yeah, it's uh, Eternal Customs is I think is is the name on Facebook. Um, well, this is a different this is a different version. I think oh, actually, got it. actually okay. than Eternal Customs. Got it. 
Um, yeah, awesome. uh, yeah I, I do. I do also have the eternal customs. Good. We we do show the eternal customs version um, in the article as well, uh, but um, and I'll I'll get to that in just a moment. I think oh, I've got it down here. I'm sorry, I did not open it up, um, but you can see all the That's various okay. different versions. Have to show um, it. But this ram looks really <laughs> awesome. Yeah. No, no, it's fine. I, what I was trying to do is show this amazing attack track. That he's oh my got gosh, here that too, this great. this larger scale filmation attack. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's it's really awesome. But it's right here. You can see this one's a little different from Eternal Customs because he actually uses um a uh Motu Origins Deluxe as the basis for it and kind of you know does some editing to the uh, the top of the sculpt, which maybe might be more of a way that they do it. This this kind of shows you more of the Motu Origins, you know, adjustments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, yeah. If if it looks anything and like this, and the other figure um, that is, yeah, yeah. Good. Oh, I'm I I was done already. Go on. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't know if there was like a delay. Um, but we also have Manny faces coming. So, what do you think about the choice for Manny faces? Because we have. A couple many faces already in the line, and there's some figures that have yet to be made, or some more core hero heroic warriors. Um, I was a little disappointed on this choice. I mean, I I like a good many faces. You know, they made a mini comic one. We have a regular one. You know, the cartoon one will have less detail, but I don't know. He just he just was one of those figures that I really liked uh, just playing with as a kid. He's like only like one of the few that Mattel has put action features on. You spin the top of his head. They're taking most of the action features off of figures. So I'm like, just give me something to play with. It's like a modern day <laughs> fidget spinner. Yeah, I mean, I like a good Manny Faces too. We already have two versions of him. But the reason I say it is his filmation version it's not that much different than the original one. This is this is the Motu Classics version of him. And so you can see he's a little bit more simplified, less detail in his, his chest sculpt and stuff like that, and his, his head armor. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I was choking on my water or something. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, it, to me, it's like gonna be very close to the many faces we already have i'm sure i'll pick him up anyway um but there's a lot of other figures like characters i was hoping for and since these are only coming out like two at a time that's why i say i was hoping they would have picked another character first just uh yeah. because we already have a few versions of him that's all <laughs> yeah they're good at making lots of versions of all the figures so we'll we'll get we'll get the good ones in time um we have a couple more that we're holding on to, too. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. There is lots of mo news to come in our future. So, you guys always stay tuned to toyhabits.com. And on that note, we have an amazing segue to welcome our two special guests for the evening. Uh, Michael, I don't know if you want to introduce the team while I still uh, uh, regain my voice. <laughs> Sure, yes. We have uh, the brain children behind Delta 17 action figures, and I have have these action figures in hand. These are O-ring figures, and they look gorgeous. So let us bring on the uh, the man, the myth, Mr. Steve, to the show. Oh, my gosh. What an amazing display you have there. <laughs> oh, thank you. Appreciate that, man. Wow. Uh, we also have Ken. From Toy Connections in the house. Ken, wait for, wait for it. <laughs> there we go. Yes. I won't play it for too long, but you right. knew that was coming. Yes, we did. Cannot have Ken without a wrestling or championship belt reference. Yeah, right on. <laughs> <be> the same. <laughs> Current mood victory. There that? you go. And and the IC <laughs> title is perfect because that is the 
best title you could ever have is the, the classic, the classic design as well. Yes, so, exactly. you know, from the best era. <laughs> exactly. There we go. And he is totally Ken and Steve, welcome to the show. Uh, we're so happy to have you guys here. Ken is out of control. <laughs> Always. Uh, I was just on a show. Oh, you know. Nice. How are you guys doing tonight? Um, I got to say, I can't be more proud and happy of this amazing toy line that you guys have come up with. Um, you know, we, we, we did extensive reviews on these figures uh, in hand a little while back. And I got to say, I'm super impressed with them. Uh, absolutely love how classic these O-ring figures are. And we're more so happy to have you guys on here for this amazing official launch now of your toy line. So um, we want to dig into this further and just congratulate you guys for finally launching the online yes. store. Um, we also do have um, links to all of them and a, a shop page for your Delta 17 that, figures yeah. on toyhabits.com just to make it easy for anyone that's perusing around and they're like, oh, G.I. Joe, blah, blah, blah. What are these figures? This is awesome for those who aren't aware and they have instant links to get to all of those incredible figures. Absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you for yeah. all that. I mean, you've done a lot to sort of like help promote the brand. I know Michael did his review um, on the channel and then Toy Sorceress did her review on the uh, on the website. And of course, yeah, like I did check that, you know, the, the shop um, is linked to your site now, too. So it all kind of works together in unison. You know, you've done more than your share as friends mm. um, to help get the brand awareness out. And now you're here with us kind of at the conclusion of week one. Like, how else do we wrap up week one than right. to come here? You know, literally seven days after with our friends after the first batch of orders is out. So cool. And we're yes. not only That's friends, amazing. we're clients. <laughs> <laughs> Even better. Even better. For this, so, California. And this is not the whole clip of one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for having us on. We really That's appreciate awesome. it. We appreciate so, all the artwork you guys put out for us and all the announcements. It's great. We really love you guys. Thank you. Oh. You're so welcome. It's it's our pleasure. And like well, we, we I, really I was, in your product. Yeah, oh, we, we were thanks. smitten by the line from you know the first uh, the first tease. And so we've been following it for a very long time. So it's very happy to see like this uh, finally hitting the shores and your store coming yeah. up and it's, it's all good news. Yeah, it took a little while, but we're here. We're finally here. The store is finally open and uh people are getting our toys in their hands, and so far it's been quite a lot of positive reviews and uh, people are very happy. So it's great. You know, it's, it's so much fun to finally, you know, to create something in life. And uh, we would just want to get it in other people's hands, let them turn it into whatever they want it to be in their minds and, and just, you know, just have fun again. Like when we were kids, you know, just the, the joy of bumping into something cool in the store that'd be like, Oh man, this is killer. You know, so that's that's all we want to do. We just want to bring that joy back, you know, and hopefully get them in the hands of collectors and kids alike. Totally. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you guys came up with an incredible backstory for these figures. Um, three separate factions, which is really cool because, you know, we're used to having like one versus the other. And so that makes um, the figures a little bit more interesting and exciting that you can kind of create more of a, I guess, dynamic of a conflict in between them. And um, it just, it, it creates a, all these opportunities for amazing display as well. I mean, I know <laughs> personally when, when I had these in hand for review, I had so much fun um, taking, you know, outdoor photographs with them in my yard. Nice. <laughs> and just, yeah, right you know, on. going to town with the, with, um, that, yeah. 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 Those look good and, too. That was fun. In the, in the wild. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was going to share some of those so that you folks can see um, what these look like when you uh, when you get them out in the um, it, you know out 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 in the wild and out in nature. Um, yeah, so, right. You know, th this was <laughs> a lot of fun to to shoot, <laughs> to shoot these guys, and uh, you know, yeah, share away. They you look know, they look the just great. You, you know, like you got all of these like army builders. There we go. Nice. There we go. Have I'm you sorry, got a favor? She's so good yeah. at this. <laughs> yeah. This really What's your good. favorite sorceress? <laughs> Which one's my favorite? Um, 
Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yep. There, there might have been a bit of a delay. I don't know Am what I happened. Stuck? It's like we jumped. Oh, okay, great. We jumped great. on. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. And all of a sudden, your internet um, died. <laughs> that's okay. I, I kind of grabbed like my favorite from each faction. So uh, you got Death Sparrow, and then um, um, I forget his name. Shadow Dragon. <laughs> yeah, but because uh, I'm on the air, but like these these three guys are my favorite. Yeah. Nice. Yes. 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 About you, um, Michael. You got a favorite? These these are awesome, and you know, like I love this guy Leonidas right here with his little dog. Um, you could put him up on the backpack, and I love his bright colors on his hat that he has on backwards and his shirt. Yeah, he was a lot of fun to anyway, make for sure. Um, these are a lot of fun. So I'm gonna let you guys. Uh... I got stuck. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but I yeah, to, I think my screen is stuck right now, guys. To answer no. your question, Ken, uh, I one that. of one of my faves is uh, is Leonidas. I love the colors. I just I love that he's just in shorts and mm -hmm. a tank top. And he's got tats. He's got a dog. I mean, and a dog bowl. Like, how freaking cute is that? That was that's like attention to detail. Like with this line, like who? Like, he, of course, he needs a, a needs a dog bowl for his dog, right? Yeah. So, a lot of cool stuff. Yeah, Shepherd is an amazing figure too. Like yes. that that one, that one is like Leonidas and Shepherd are one of my two faves. Awesome, awesome. I gotta go with Shepard. I just love those night vision goggles. I just love the skull mask um, and all that. Just his whole loadout is just awesome. So, I don't know. And he's the leader. Can't go wrong with that. No. <laughs> right? um, the army builders, people are all over the army builders right now, especially the Thunder Battalion. Like, that right now is our hottest seller. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's flying out the door all right. That's awesome. Mm. That's so good to hear. It's like, yeah, it's you. You you launched the store last week, right? Yes. So, yeah. how has it been? Just like keeping up with everything, just on a day to day basis. It's like it's so it's so early, uh, getting a good reaction to. I mean, we there's so much positive reaction in the chat, and so it sounds like a lot of people are also uh, voting with their dollars too, and and ordering yeah. is awesome. Yeah, that's, indeed, that's... indeed. Um, the fulfillment center in New Jersey has been busy, and initially, when we were going to ship this, you know, the plan for Steve was to cross the border once a week with a bunch of boxes. And on the first day of sales, we were glad that we didn't do that. Um, oh man! Yeah. Ben from the Skeletron team approached us and said, um, "I'm shipping everything out of New Jersey, and so is Carson from 3D Joe's. You want to talk to my guy, Saul?" Saul, yeah, almost got his name wrong. Saul, and just um, just get everything shipped out of there. Maybe except for Canadian orders, we gave mm -hmm. it a try. It's worked out really, really well. Okay. Um, we see all the stuff on on the back end. We know what's going out the door, but they physically go and do it right. And then Steve just handles Canadian orders. So, thank you, Dave. Yeah, thanks, thank Dave. You, Dave. Appreciate yeah. that. Oh, <laughs> jeez, Clint. What is the Delta 17's equivalent of the US flag? <laughs> it's the <laughs> hind, the hind helicopter. It's I was gonna say we we don't have the equivalent of the flag, but we might have the equivalent of the tomahawk in some oh. way, shape, or form Dang. coming. Totally. So yeah, there you It'll go. Be bigger, we'll, bigger than we'll the tomahawk. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. yes, bigger than that. Yeah. yeah. So if anybody oh, knows the the Soviet uh, assault troop carrier, the hind. Model D helicopter from the from the 80s, 90s. Well, it's, it's even used today by many, many countries. So it very much is a current uh, helicopter. We're, we've got it in the sculpting phase right now. This is just a small model of it, right? So it will be the D model. So it'll have the, the chin gun. This one has the side cannon. So just ignore that. But uh, yeah, it's we're going to do it right or we won't do it at all. Uh, we're going to take our time with it, but uh, the sculptor that we have working on it is pretty confident that he'll get it out. Uh, but we'll just we'll leave it. I won't get into estimates or anything like that. But you know, all the blades, well, you can easily take them off. There will be two, two the the exact doors that you have on the real hind will make them for this thing. But we'll also make it so that the entire bubble can come off, so you can, you know, nicely put the figures in there instead of trying to jam them in sideways with their with their legs. You know, kind of 
in the kneeling position. That's always so hard on some vehicles. So we'll make it so the tail comes off, the rotors come off, the wings come off, all sorts of stuff. The, the troop bay doors will, will be bigger so you can get your hands in there. Um, and, and a bunch of other features. We're gonna really try to do it up and make it the must have. So it's gonna be big. It'll be about two and a half feet long for sure. So it'll be our, our biggest venture yet. Yeah, the initial waves are gonna effectively going to be built it. around the hind. Yeah. That's yeah, so cool. Absolutely. I didn't realize that you were uh, thinking about vehicles this soon, which is awesome because, you know, the line that we grew up with, you know, their thing was it was like vehicle first line, right? And so I think, right. it's, a, I think it's a great homage. And I, one of the things that I love about the line is the detail to the weaponry and just the realism that's in these uh, three and three quarter inch figures so like the fact that you're taking a soviet helicopter and modeling it after that is going to be awesome yeah it's, it's going to be a lot of fun uh we yeah. really want to do just... it well sorry go ahead i don't know i was just going to say while we're talking i'm just going to scroll through pictures for eye candy so you guys can enjoy the versatility and the amazing photography opportunities with these figures just keep talking yeah awesome. yeah those look great Thank those you. are beautiful mm -hmm. we have a question from nuno biz when's the cartoon coming <laughs> <laughs> oh we're working on it right now we're not we're not working on it we've, we've got a comic in the works uh we have a very good artist um he's a bit he's a bit slower but uh he's he's promised now he's he's finished his other work that he was doing so now he's just strictly delta 17 so that's good uh we're hoping to have it in print available for joe fest i'm not sure if we can hit that mark but we will have it available for free online in time for joe fest for sure so you know we get to meet these people fall in love with them so they go beyond just you know this guy's red that guy's blue etc um you get to see who they are and it, it brings a whole new level of depth to them so we're really excited about that part because for now yes they're fantastic figures but until you get to know them i mean it's it's just another figure on your shelf but um i, th I think people will appreciate them like we we put a lot of effort into this it took a lot of time we could have had this line done in half the time but we just kept pushing for better sculpts better quality of plastics and finish and uh, paint apps and, and everything like that. So we really hope that when people get them in hand, they'll see like, holy cow, this is like top tier stuff. We, we may have some issues, right? If there is an issue, reach out to us. If there's like a stuck, the swivel wrist is stuck or something like that, or something's just really off, reach out to us and we'll try to make it right. There will always be, uh, you know, a certain percentage of a failure rate, probably around five percent. Uh, hopefully, no higher than that. And uh, we'll we'll set you guys up. Yeah. That's fantastic. It, it seems I, to be less than five percent right now. I, I, but anyway, okay. good. <laughs> I just wanted to note that I don't know if people realize that these had swivel wrists because that's something your Joes never were able to do. But you can you can rotate the wrists around. This is a new uh, point of articulation that we never got before in a three and three quarter inch figure. So you can you can definitely do some amazing uh, poses with their weapons and um, you know move their wrists around so that they can grab uh, vehicles if they need to. You know if there's a handle, let's say for instance, you can turn their wrist that way, or they can hold something on the side. I think that was an amazing um, feature that you guys added to it. And I love that most of the, like, the figures can hold pretty much like, you know, all their weapons on their, on their loadout. Yep. Um, there's, you know, one way, shape or form from them to either click it on their backpack, hold it on their hand, holster it somewhere. Um, but you guys thought of, of everything like these little guys here. And I can see why they're so popular uh, on your um, Delta, Delta squad infantry troopers. You know, they've got like <laughs> little bazooka uh, missiles and, um, launchers and and all sorts of you know guns and everything that uh, they all store like on their backpack or in their hands which is awesome you know for a, a small figure of this size and they come with so many accessories um, yeah that was one thing we really wanted to put like on this 
yeah. Yeah. That was one thing we really wanted to put a lot of emphasis on is accessories and being able to store them on the figure and all that stuff. And then with the swivel wrist, like one good thing is mm -hmm. you can actually like with this guy, you can actually get both hands on his gun. So he has a foregrip and he's yeah. able to actually hold that foregrip mm -hmm. with the older figures. You couldn't do that. And then if you tried, you were almost breaking them. Right. So it's, it's a very nice feature yeah. to have. I don't know if you can see it there, but both hands, one oh, yeah. on the, one on the trigger, one on the foregrip. And yep. it works with uh, with all our figures that have foregrips on them, so that's really nice. Mm -hmm. See, the thing is, um, and on on that note, like, uh, and the story that we're looking to develop right now, the figures are relatively popular right now, but most people are just referring them to as guy in shorts with dog. Um, <laughs> Rooster is literally, I've seen people call them Mohawk hit and run, you know, right. um, samurai thing bad guy. Um, yep. <laughs> cyborg ninja or robot ninja, you know, firefly looking dude. Like that's we're selling them as that right now, and it's already doing well. Imagine when you add a story to it and mm -hmm. put put some layers to this, right? I mean, yeah, there's yeah. file cards on the back and everything like that, but you see the front first, your head cannon kicks in, then you read the back, right? And yeah. after you've done that, you absorb a little bit of a story, but the real story comes in the comics. And when that comes in and we breathe life into the characters, then things hopefully take um, take us to another level. That'd be great. So. Yeah, I think yeah. that's where the rubber will like, really hit the road. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, look yeah, at Shadow Dragon. Like, he's just standing there. He's got so much, like, attitude. And, you know, you don't want to mess with this guy. Meet up with him in the jungle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, God, no. Yeah. Take your right apart. Yeah. 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 Um, I love, oh, I love, I love, I love, I love, I love, oh, love good. I love fielding questions from the chat. Um, what's the one thing that you learned from this line that surprised you? I'm sure you've had many surprises along oh, the way. Oh but boy. So funny. This is like when it's like a job interview question, right? It's like, right. What is the one thing that surprised you? But I, yeah, I do, tell us. I do, yeah, you, I always love that one. Yeah. Tell us your weaknesses, you know, in the job interview. And then you right. always come up with this BS of, oh, I work too hard and I'm a perfectionist <laughs> and uh, I'm the best ever. And that's my weakness. I, I, help, I help my teammates way too much at the I point. Go, that yeah, I yeah, you know, I go a little too far above and beyond. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Well, yeah. Why, why don't you come up with one? I'll come up with one, Steve. With the. Uh, oh, surprise. boy. I don't know. There's a long, long list of <laughs> I wouldn't know what to come up with for that. Um no, you start, Ken, and maybe it'll make my brain actually click into gear. Right now, the clutch is a little bit. I mean, so, the see? the camaraderie has been huge. Like I mentioned mm. before, like Skeletron, they have, I mean, they're they're a mix of six inch and modern four inch, but they do have a little bit of O-ring. Them kind of approaching us and saying, hey, um, I know you're in Canada. You've got, we've got a fulfillment center over here on our side of the border. We think you should look into it or um, people from call sign longbows group saying, Hey, people seem to like integrating our figures together. Their figures are due out later this year, but they get a lot of feedback saying that'll go really well with Delta 17 or like having Carson from 3d Joe's. When we put our, our sales link up, he went and shared the link everywhere or like Matt yeah. LaCroix from strike force alpha. were like, <laughs> like when I got the first shipment in, he was like, I'll trade you this and I'll trade you that. Like we were like literally the toy makers were trading figures with, between each other. So this sort of like rising tide of all the O-rings was what really surprised me that how tightly knit everyone was speci and specifically knew each other. Right. And when we went to Joe Fest last year, we met most, if not all of them. And when we meet each other this year, we'll have product, a little bit more product in hand. And it's, it's going to just make that whole like camaraderie thing. Like I didn't expect it to be to that extent. I thought there'd be like, Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. Let's 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 buy a few. But I didn't expect our link would be shared by everyone, right? Um, yeah. So that was that was that was a surprise, but it was a pleasant surprise. Not because I had expectations of the opposite, but because I had no expectations. And then when it happened, because yeah. it all happened so fast on Friday, like Steve, you scroll through your social media, you know, the Longwell guy shared it, Joe Fest, Ed shared it, you know, Carson, yeah. the 3D Joe shared it, the Skeletron dudes shared it. Um, everyone toy habits shared it, but we knew you going into this, <laughs> right? So, yeah, you know, one, one thing I wanted to answer besides you know the, the back end on your, your guys' side of the line surprising you, one thing that was very cool, which um, I wasn't aware, and I wanted to go back to the share screen. I don't know if it's a my, mine's kind of stuck, so if you can go back to the share screen with, with Okami here, um, this is kind of your like bat. Yeah, robot type of uh, army builder figure. 
you can take um, each of his hands off and attach mm -hmm. his various different like weapons attachments onto his hands, which is really cool. You know, he's got, got like a sword right here. There's like another like kind of laser blaster and the things yep. can like hook up to his backpack. But I thought that was ingenious of you guys to incorporate that on this uh, three and three quarter figure um, using the fact that you have a peg system already where the wrists are going to swivel to start with and taking advantage of that extra articulation point and in making this interchangeable, um, you know, hands with, with his weapon. I thought that was brilliant. That was a surprise to me because I was just kind of playing with it. I'm like, oh, his hand pops off and oh, there's pegs on these. Like, let me, let me pop on his other parts. I thought that was great, guys. <laughs> And the parts fit with the vintage uh, 1986 Battle Android Trooper too. They're completely swappable. So cool. Woo. Yeah. Really? And then there's there's Try parts. There's little pegs on the back of his backpack, so you can store the hands on there. So everything can be stored mm -hmm. on his backpack. So that works out good. It yeah. it took a long time to develop that pack. I had to uh, with my sculptor. I I had to draw it out for about two days and send him all these drawings. And even then, he was like, "Man, this is so complex. I don't get it." So I got my my oldest boy, he's he works on Tinkercad. We just we just quickly just put it together, sent him a file, and he's like, "Oh, got it, got it. Okay, yeah, I can run with that." So, okay. yeah, it was pretty neat. It was it was a process, though. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I thought too, when you that were, was absolutely brilliant. <laughs> well, when thanks. you were first, uh, you know, teasing the line and kind of showing the the works in progress, I think one of the things that really struck me about you was. Um, it was not settling. And so I think, I think that's what we can look forward to in the line is like, is quality, the things that you think of to, you know, be able to stow all the weapons. I thought one of the really cool features also was the, um, you can take apart like the little pieces off the backpack. I, I forget if that was a special name, but yeah. 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 For like Rooster and Okami, their backpack split in half. <clears throat> so you can take off his backpack and then you can take there's there's the 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 bag at the bottom there's the frame and then you have the radio here there's a little handset that comes off it comes with uh two antennas in case you lose one but the little oh there we go this time it wasn't even <laughs> this time it wasn't even my cat this and then the little radio comes off and it's got a peg on the back so you can wear it just the radio itself and give it to someone else and the little bag here on the on the bottom of this backpack actually comes off as well. We might have other things that uh, that peg onto that in the future. So let's say the guy wants to run light or whatever, he dumps his bag, he dumps the frame. Oh, I've got it backwards. Wow, that's special. Okay, so you can just wear only the radio, right? Yeah. Or someone else can wear it. So we wanted to get into some of this stuff where it would just be fun. You know, we tried to to have the goal that everything would store on each figure, and we we almost got there. The only thing was that we gave people a, a couple of extra parts. So for the for the Thunder Battalion, this is like a Spetsnaz trooper. You know, he comes with two visors. So one, you know, they they flip up and down. One, there's a hole in there, so you can see his eyes. It'll actually clip upwards, so it's it's not going to slide down. Everything on these guys is nice and tight. And then the other visor option, whichever one you want to mount on them, has a has a red visor, a little pop of color, right? Mm -hmm. So, yep. And while there's no room for that other visor, in theory, he could just hold it in his other hand if you really don't want to put it away. <laughs> yeah. Same thing with Rooster's uh, antenna. He could just hold it in his hand and just whack people with it as a sure. <laughs> as a stabbing weapon. So, yeah. Yeah. Take that. I know, right? Yeah, see, like the the I love the figure stands too because even when you knocked them over, nobody fell down. It wasn't like bowling Friday night bowling with uh, with action figures tonight. Everybody stood. Yeah, up we used we used <laughs> wider stands, so they're a bit more uh, stable. So that's pretty nice. Um, but yeah, pretty much everything clips onto them. They're they're you know for the troopers, like these Delta troopers, they come with three rockets. One fits in the uh, actual bazooka itself. There's a K-bar knife over here. Uh, they have an assault rifle, the the G36C. Some people they just put it right here while the guy's using the bazooka. It'll fit like that. Whoops! Of course I drop it because we're live. It's only when you're live. Otherwise it works. 
but in the back of the backpack you take it off and uh, no this guy does not have it because I put it on the other guy you take it off and there's a gas mask inside there and that gas mask will go around on his face and plug into these little holes the back of his helmet now the the gas mask system we didn't get it perfected it's not bad it's not up quite up to my standards but um what what we're trying to do is offer something that's just really really well done and uh it, it didn't get quite up to my standards but it's not bad so you can you can plug it in it goes on the front of his face and then plugs into some little holes on the side of his head if you don't want to use it there's a hole in the back of his backpack you just stick it in there it sits in there nicely and you put it on him and there you go so he's got his gas mask stuck in the back of his backpack if you don't want to use it there you go there you go such a cool oh, such a lose, cool you lose sorceress I still be back. <laughs> oh, oh, connection issues. Okay. Yeah. Um, such a cool, uh, such a cool display you have back there. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's fun. Those are the banners we had at Joe Fest. Yeah, that's pretty. Oh, that's great. Those are amazing. Thanks. I was just, I was just going to point out that uh, if you do want to see um, the figures close up, you know, front, back, you know, their accessories, etc., um, on on the review that we have on our website. I did take uh, photos from all the different sides and you can see, you know, how you can store all the accessories and everything. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that. That's awesome. We good have an question. Origin, good question. Origin question. Yeah. I, I good question. yeah. Delta 17 is a, is a very specific name. Uh, Delta is, is a, a word or a name that's associated with special forces in the military uh, so it's sort of well known whether it's Delta Force or you're sort of a Delta Tier operator, even though you're not in Delta Force, they will sometimes refer to you as Delta Tier. Um, there is also other other ways that they use that that word. Um, the seventeenth number uh, coincides with the letter Q, and uh, in the U.S. military, U.S. government as a whole, so the entire U.S governmental apparatus, including the military and the FBI and the Department of Energy. The highest level of classification is the 17th level, also known as Q level clearance. So if you have Q level security clearance, you know everything there is to know or you have access to it. So that is why we chose that number. And because uh, these guys are are uber secret off the books um, type of special forces that uh, that nobody knows about. Even the U.S. government does not know about it as a whole. Only a small portion of patriots within the U.S. government and the U.S. military know about these guys. So they're hand-selected. That's why a lot of these guys have uh, lower ranks. They've all been busted down. It's it's almost like an A-team kind of theme. You know, they all got whatever, disowned and disbarred and all that sort of stuff uh, because they were doing the right thing. So, yeah, it's... Um, yeah, sorry. No, that's cool. That. Yeah, it's it's fun to it's fun to right. learn like origin stories, and I can't wait for the like just knowing that I like, can't wait for the comic and all the other stories to see what this uh, gang of figures gets into. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're uh, we're getting there. We we hope and, to be and, done yeah. by Joe Fest. Are we are we getting a second wave? I don't know if I missed that when I uh, <laughs> when I got knocked off. At some off. point. <laughs> Yes. Yes. We're working on the second wave um, mm -hmm. where right now we have, you know, an exclusive figure that's coming for Joe Fest. It will be available to the general public as well through our store, Delta17toys.com. That's, that's where you can buy our stuff. And um, thank you. Boom. If you if you um, if you order six or more figures, there's a discount code. We post it on our socials. Uh, it's Delta 10 off. So Delta 10 OFF. And that is our discount code. Six or more figures. Um, we do have wave two coming. We hope that the hind helicopter will be ready for that wave. But wow. with that, with that one, I don't want to rush it. I want it to be, 
really finely tuned. You know, we want retractable wheels. We want an opening cockpit. We want it all to be easily to take apart and store and move and so many features and different things like that. So we really want to go slow with that one. But yeah, wave two is coming. It'll be a minimum 12 figures. Um, there'll be army builders and females and everything else that people love about Delta 17. So absolutely um and uh yeah wave two we've got a we've got to make a certain cut um of like we got a lot of characters that we got to whittle down to a specific wave yeah um to make that to make that happen make the cut yeah, yeah. well huh how, what how I thought many was incredible was that your first wave was well freaking triggers. <laughs> right that's a huge wave that you guys had for, for the first time out, you didn't do just four or like six, which is like, you know, that's a big wave, but a dozen, yeah. <laughs> you did a full dozen, which is incredible to, to like build out that world. Right. Because since they're three and three quarter figures, it's just so fun to have so many different characters. And then you, you threw in their two army builders really, um, you know, one in each faction. So uh, you really were creating this like world building, property like off the bat which is awesome right yeah it was so, it was um, hard i think for, that's a recipe for that. yeah well thank you i appreciate that yeah it was it was difficult because wave one we thought well it would be wise to just do six you know and that's that's wisdom you don't come out with 12 that's just dumb but uh it was like well so many of these guys are central to the story that if you start off you know like if you're to start gi joe without scarlet or without Duke or without, you know, whatever it would be. Snake Eyes, Stalker, you name it. Yeah, it would be pretty hard to do, right? You could have probably gotten away without, you know, Short Fuse and a couple of those other guys. But, um, but yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's difficult because they all seem relatively central to the story. And that's also the hard part about Wave 2 is, you know, I've got about 30 guys, 35 to 40 guys sitting in just note in art form. Wow, and uh, I'm not sure which ones to send off to the sculpt. Well, we we sent one off to the sculptor so far, and I'm not sure which other ones to to send off because they're all. It's like, well, this is important and that's important. Yeah. I'd like to bring that into the comic and this guy and that guy. You know, they all make sense, so it's difficult. Yeah, I can imagine just you know just having to mm -hmm. choose, and then you know that that affects you know future comics and stories and yeah, all of that. Mm -hmm. But the fact that you have so many figures in just the pipeline now it's like people are talking wave two we're like hey what's wave three what's wave four <laughs> yeah right eh? yeah that's cool and uh, are, are you going to be going are you going to be like showing off like works in progress like you have been doing you know with the delta 17 line for upcoming waves and things like that uh well people can see that you know based on our our history we're pretty tight-lipped about what we do um that may change as we we gain a following and we're interacting with people it might be wise to to build up a following like <clears throat> you know we we missed by by not doing a kickstarter to me that's that's just my style i i don't like taking the time to present what i'm doing i'd rather polish the thing and then present it as opposed to you know polishing the idea of the thing right so by doing that we missed out on on a lot of advertising and, and the ability to really build a following before we brought our toys out so we're kind of doing things a little bit backwards but this is the way that i prefer to do it i suppose it'll spread word by mouth you know word of mouth yeah. and all that stuff like hey i got this this is surprisingly yeah. good yeah. you know and to add to that steve like it's not to say that we'll never do a kickstarter because there'll eventually be a project that's just big enough for us to be like you know what we should we should kickstarter this we'll have our built-in audience by that point in time and um yeah that's not a hint right there um no <laughs> and by that point in time you've got your built-in audience and they'll know um a little bit more about what they're backing because while a lot of kickstarters are are very successful there's also this i've been hearing some people say oh i got another kickstarter that hasn't arrived yet i don't really want to add another one oh but it's really cool maybe i'll back it on the last day so we you know if we can hold off doing one we will but at some point, um, I think it's inevitable that a Kickstarter is going to have to happen for one of the bigger projects and one of the bigger things we have in the pipeline. 
Um, but yes, it was surprising for a lot of people because a lot of a lot of the community did not hear about this until Joe Fest last year or just before Joe Fest last year when we said we were going. And then um, when they showed up at our booth, they saw like the unpainted test shots and they're like, oh, what are these? Like, these are the T1 samples. They're like, but if there's yeah, most likely not, <laughs> um, just to answer that. Um, but you can, that'd be funny. Yeah. But yes. So one of the things that happened was um, we basically told people, yeah, I mean, these are the T1 test shots and they're just like, Oh, that means the tooling is done. We're like, well, yeah, the tooling is done. They're like, that means you're, you're past like the big hump of development, which is get everything to the factory and get it tooled. Right. <laughs> Michael wants me to ask if Delta 17 is going to have a ninja in the next wave, or preferably two. Well, you have a ninja in this wave technically already, and that's the robot Okami. Yeah. So, yeah. More ninjas. Um, <laughs> more ninjas, yeah. But Steve's absolutely right. But when you do a Kickstarter, you have that built-in, um, what do you call it? Um, the, the sort of built-in advertising, right? Like right. Jason from mm -hmm. Animal Warriors for the Kingdom, my understanding is he came from the comic industry, he's always been an artist of some sort. When he did his first Kickstarter and even his second one now, there was a huge groundswell of support. I just brought up the Skeletron project. I think their goal was something like 80,000 and they hit like something like 700 or 800,000 or something. Like it was, it was ridiculous, right? They hit like wow. 10 times their Kickstarter goal or whatever it was. So you get that groundswell of support if you have the right product, the right reputation built in on social media um, and the right people in place. Right. Yeah. And that includes everything from your design team to your factories, to your um, senior consultants and everything. We weren't really sure. Right. And back in 2021, when all of this stuff was going on, we were just dreaming at that time. Right. Like we had some ideas, but we weren't sure. So all these people were like high reputation, already established people in the community. And here we are at Joe Fest in 2023, just hugging and having beers with them. Like one of the boys, like we've been there all along kind of thing. And that was really great, you know? Um, so yeah, 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 for sure. Like, and I love crowdfunding because like a lot of these other guys out there that I've ordered with, if it wasn't for crowdfunding, I wouldn't be able to get their stuff. So when it comes to, you know, Longbow, Recall, all these other guys, Skeletron, it's like, if that's how you got to get here, I'm a hundred percent behind you. I love the idea. Uh, even with Hasbro, if it's like, you know, we're not going to make this unless we can find homes for it. It's like, and if you love it, get it you know for sure so that the model is fantastic i love kickstarters i love crowdfunding uh we just chose to do it a different way it's it's sort of um it's been good and there's also you know there's there's good and there's positive and negative with everything that you choose to do so um i think you know if you get these in hand if you want to just try them out or you want to talk to some of your friends who have them i think you'll find that they're they're high quality we we really went for really emphasize quality, quality of sculpts, uh, quality of, of the build, the articulation, the, the paint apps, everything else like that. And I think when you see the comic, you'll appreciate and enjoy these characters and the, the story. So the first comic is going to be a 30 page uh, barn burner. So we're just coming in with all guns blazing. <laughs> so it'll be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, we're, we're going to we're just going to keep going, hopefully. Hundred <laughs> percent. That's, That's the first figure Allison got too. Death Sparrow. There you go. There you go. Right. She is rad. Yeah. Yeah, she I like her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome. Um, right now, a lot of people are using Death Sparrow as just October Guard enhancement. And that's mm -hmm. fine too. You know, it yeah. happens. <laughs> whatever. Right. So hey, whatever, whatever gets the figure out the door and into your hands, right? Yeah. Right. Head cannon, real cannon. It's, yeah. it's all you know. It's all fandom to us, right? That's true. So, that's definitely yeah. true. That's yeah, awesome. if you want, if yeah. you want to take them apart and Frankenstein them and paint them up. It doesn't work for the female for the female figures, though. No, right. that's right. Yeah, if you're if you're gonna, if you're a customizer and you buy our females, you're only going to be able to swap the heads between the two females that we offer because we gave them a really slight, smaller torso. We really wanted to give them that. Uh, that hourglass figure, I suppose. Like if you look at Lady J or Zorana or whatever, they have big linebacker shoulders, uh, the same width as Flint or anyone else. So I wanted to avoid that. I wanted to give them a more petite feminine look. 
And in doing so, we had to really shrink down the uh, the neck ball at the, at the bottom of their yeah. neck. That's so right. if, you, if you take one of these apart, you'll see that the neck ball is almost non-existent. Uh, the good news is, is that it still is very tight. It still articulates the same way as a regular uh, neck ball would that you're used to. But you're not going to be able to swap the head out with in, and put it with in a lady J. Oh, yeah. 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 So we've had some some questions about seeing this stuff up close. Like if you if you have a look just at the sheer amount of detail that you got there, like just look at the um, what do you call it? Um, the tack the tack vest. Is that what you call it, Steve? Yeah. The tack suit or tack vest, right? You know, you look at the the tampo paint on the face. You know, you've got the night vision goggles that I've got this way. In the other photo that Sorcerer showed, you can do it the other way, like this. You know, the the shotgun. You can really see a lot of the uh, a lot of the details there, but it also stows away into the backpack very easily, like that. You know, um, so yeah, I mean, everything from even like the treads on the boots are all there. Oh, totally. Right? I mean, can't can't see it that well. I'm trying to focus on me rather than the figure. Um, camera likes to uh, likes to play tricks, but anyway, just to give an idea for what you're getting when the figures um, come in, and you know, like a lot of people, like Michael was saying, this this is another favorite, Leonidas, right? Come on, camera, you'll focus at some point in time. I love how the autofocus isn't actually an autofocus. Just back it up a little bit. To, uh, yes, back it up a little bit. Maybe. There you go. Right yeah. there, you go. Right. And then drop that it works. like it's hot. Then drop it like <laughs> it's hot. Yeah. I there you go. And, what, 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 myself and grab them all in case there's some you don't have in front of you, Ken. Oh. So. Awesome. That's where Perfect. I and, if, off, I and, and the, the unfortunate <laughs> thing is that, and Steve, you commented on this and people are starting to notice is that the words hang loose, go over his, 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 uh, his torso pack there. That's a bit unrealistic, but we want pe people to be able to, to read the, uh, to read what was on his shirt. So yeah, if yeah. you take the pack off, you've got hang and then loose, you know, maybe yeah. you can, you can envision that if you took the pack off, there's a smiley face under there or something like that. No, no, <laughs> you know, you know exactly what's under there. It's the symbol, dude. There you go. <laughs> we, we actually had it. We actually yeah. had it so the thumb and the finger was poking out the sides, oh. but it looked kind of weird. It was just yeah, like, you're what's right. These... That's uh, you're right. That is what we did. I'd forgotten because you had to show yeah. me that one in a little while. You're so right. That is what we had. He takes there. off his little his little vest there. He's just got a mini little you know mag yeah. holder. It's, it's not much, but uh, yeah, there's the hang loose symbol under there. There you go. That's right. Well, so he he, he just bought that at a corner store for like five bucks or whatever. So you got a bunch of them. <laughs> <laughs> it, awesome. I, I, I had some more in my hand if you want to roll around if you guys wanted to, to describe them as soon as it can get me back up on the screen here's preacher oh, uh, talk, yeah talk our marksman yeah preacher i love that dude he's actually he's four inches high he's supposed to be taller so he's a taller dude him and rooster are both four inches so you know we say they're they're three and three quarter inch figures but when you got the taller dudes they're actually taller and yeah that, that guy is a four inch dude and uh he's got some nice digital camouflage on his pants both of his guns that he has will stow on his backpack and he's wearing an old uh sort of a retro late 70s harley davidson leather jacket is what he chooses to wear yeah we went back and forth in that color scheme for a little while but yeah, he's preacher. I know a few people have said and they they're like, "Ooh, I like the stalker looking dude because he's got the uh, beanie over his head, just like the version two stalker." But um, it's just one of those things. That, yes, if that's how your head cannon is, that's fine. But he's our marksman for the team, which is kind of cool. So yeah. Oh, and there's Rooster, or as people yeah. call him, Mo Mohawk Hit and Run. <laughs> I've seen that name out there. Oh, you managed to get the radio in his hand. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, the radio is a bit is a bit thicker. Like it's it's not easy to stick into their hands that little handset that comes off. But we couldn't make it any thinner because it would have just not had the durability or the ability to mount on pins at all. So we had to make it the thickness that it is. Um, you can put it in his hands, but it might put a bit of stress on his uh, his hands. Are PVC? They're not ABS plastic, so that gives them a bit of flex, right? You, you yes. don't have to worry about breaking the thumb. Yeah, so he looks really cool. And then, um, let's see, let's get the Shepherd. Oh, Shepard, yeah, yes, this guy's awesome. Yeah, yeah his helmet so comes cool. off, and his night vision goggles come off. Yep. So, so much. Yeah. Yeah, he's a great figure. That that guy yeah. took us quite a while to dial in. On his leg, like the paint apps you guys added there. 
So yeah. Sure. Whoops. What he's got there. Yeah, we wanted to put in those shotgun shells on his. Uh, that's a drop leg sub load that he's got strapped around his leg there for all the <laughs> you shells. You know all the technical. Yeah, <laughs> the technical yeah. Jargon. Then he's right. I don't, I don't even. I don't even know them. Um, people ask me about the weapons, and I go uh, ask Steve or look at the yeah. back of the card. <laughs> it might. It might say it for some of them. So. Yeah. I, I, I love Ethel. She's like totally like just really classic, and uh, yes. gives me complete real American hero vibes. I always um, felt her and Preacher fit, fit the best into like the, the late 80s G.I. Joe era. Like I could totally see them coming yeah. out between 87 and 89 during the Mark Pennington era of G.I. Joe. I could totally see it. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, she's... Cool. Yeah. So, anyway, yeah. Delta 10 off for 10% off. Delta17toys.com for the store link. Or the exact the direct Shopify link that Michael put in the chat, or go from Toy Habits. The, there's a portal on the Toy Habits um, website as well to get there. So, more than one way to skin a cat, more than one way to buy your Delta 17 figures. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> and people were saying more ninjas. I mean, if uh, you know Shadow Dragon, well, he's sort of a samurai dude, but he's got a lot of that training. And then Jaguar, he's uh, we don't know exactly who he is or or what he looks like under that that mask and those goggles, but he has some martial arts training. He's more of a Krav Maga, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu kind of guy, but they would, uh, those, the three of them between them and the uh, robot ninjas, you, you have three that would roughly fall into the ninja category. So he's got two stabby stabs that stow on the, the backpack there, their sword batons. So he can, you know, hold them, with the blade downwards to as in a defensive blocking mode and then you know swing them around and use them as a as a pokey stabby stab for uh for whoever's in his way that was really cool awesome well yeah oh the thunder battalion the uh, gru yeah. spetsnaz mm -hmm. yeah, and it is gru right steve you don't say it is gru do you yeah gru yeah i mean some people say gru it's <laughs> Yeah, and then that guy comes packed with uh, that PVC belt. It's a really soft belt, like like Snow Serpent has. Uh, you don't mm -hmm. have it on him right now, but it's when it's in a package, it's always on backwards. Mm -hmm. So that's how they packaged it. It's supposed to be with the belt buckle to the front, I, right? Oh, I think I'm missing mine. I don't think uh, I had one. <laughs> no, I would have had one. Yours, yours would have had one. Ah, that's odd. Okay, I gotta look for it. <laughs> It'll be there somewhere. <clears throat> Maybe your cat was like, eh, chucking on the floor, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. They yeah. got to it. <laughs> That's what they do. Yeah. That's awesome. Yes. Yeah, my cats will do anything and everything. I'm sure that your cat has probably walked all over this display, right, too? Oh, yes. Yeah, about half an hour ago, it knocked down about half of them. Yeah, it was great. It's fun. It's all It's all good times. Um, yeah. Joe Fest is June, right? Yeah, June 21st, I think. That's awesome. So you'll have all of these figures, I'm sure, out on display. Are you taking a bunch of product too? Yeah, we'll, we'll have some extra stuff. We'll have all of our figures there for sale. There'll be a, a reveal of a what we call Wave 1.5 figure. It's a very uh, unique figure. So we're we've done something very different. And uh, I think people will really enjoy it. Uh, it'll be, it won't be there for sale, but it will be just a reveal. This is coming soon. It's already in the tooling phase, uh, but we don't expect to have it in time for, for Joe Fest, but we will have an exclusive repaint of one of our figures. And uh, we're not saying which one it will be, but there's a good chance that it will be, you know, that one. So it's, it's a, a guy, with his repaint, he actually has a role in the comic book. So we'll see him in issue number one. And so it, it will be important to see this one character in, in his two different roles that he has. That's very cool. Uh, yeah, awesome. it's awesome that you're thinking about exclusive figures too. And, you know, from... What I know about people, they they love an army builder, and if it's an army builder exclusive, that takes the cake right there. Yeah, yeah, it's it's just fun. <laughs> All the stuff is fun. Um, 
Well, cool. And then, yeah, so you're, uh, are, are you both going to Joe Fest? Yep. yep. Fabulous. Awesome. And too bad I've there's no power been. con this year. Yeah. 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 That was, that was <laughs> bad news. I've actually never been to a Joe Fest, so maybe I should make my way But out. you've been to a WonderCon, and you might be going to an SDCC, I heard, both of you. I think we, yeah, we're guaranteed on that <laughs> we one. We are. <laughs> there you go. Wow. Mm -hmm. There you go. Right. It's our yeah. bot. <laughs> ready to go. Meet up with uh, Mad Hatter while you're and, out there. And, and we're going to see stuff there. We already know that. Mm -hmm. nice. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, Geek Dad Life does does their uh, what, what, what's it called again? The Toy Tubers Unite panel, Toy right? Oh, yeah, get you all get get you all on there as well, right? So. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, know the, that would be nice. <laughs> the toy companies are going to be like, we're going to see the the beaming eyes and the stink eyes. <laughs> yeah, right. Eh? <laughs> we don't like you. That's those toy habits, people. Yeah. All right, we, we try to make collecting fun. Give us a break. <laughs> I know we're trying to help. I, I'm sure you know. If, if anything, it's like free PR for their product, right? <laughs> they should be thanking us. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um, yeah. what are you? Uh, what are you excited about for the for the future for uh, Delta Seventeen? We know what Steve's most excited about. It might fly, and it might. Fly. It might have some rotor blades. Yes. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the Hind helicopter. Always have been. It's been my favorite military vehicle for my the entirety of my life ever since I was conscious. And uh, so I'm very excited about that one. Uh, cool. Wave 2 looks like a lot of fun as well. We're, we're, we're going to try to bring out more innovations and more interesting characters with interesting loadouts and, and roles and you know the ongoing comic is is a lot of fun uh, there's there's just so much uh, the the one thing like we got the question earlier what what is it about this line that has surprised you so far uh, my answer would be how little time there is in a day you know because oh. I would love to put in 16 hours a day and and just have them all be very productive and uh, but it just doesn't work like that. I usually cap out at around 10 or 12 and then I give up. Yeah. You can only mm -hmm. do so much and you've yeah. done an amazing job so far. And I mean, it can only get better from here. So like you, you've learned through wave one and if you, uh, what I love too, is just like you, you have a, you are a quality bar. And from the way that you describe the helicopter, like the fact that, all that stuff you're thinking about, you can take off, you can remove, you can twist, you can turn. Like that's what yeah. we should be doing with these toys. Like that's what's missing from today's toys is the sounds mm. that you can hear when you're spinning a blade or you're putting a panel on, you're lowering landing gear. Yeah, right. I, I mean, <laughs> yeah. What's, yeah. What's cool the, is that like- The great thing is because- Go ahead. I'm sorry, go ahead, Ken. I was just going to make fine. a point that the great thing is that this is coming from toy collectors who are fans of the property of the original, you know, GI Joe figures. And you love, you love the line, you love toy collecting and you're, you have that insight to then go ahead and put that passion and, and um, creativity into the things that you create so that you can include amazing details like that. Go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and we all we all appreciate that. And one of the things too is that, I mean, we all have the memories of looking up into the toy aisles at your local store, whether it was a Toys R Us or something equivalent to it, and just being like, I want everything, right? Mm. And um, one of the things that I I don't know about you, Steve, but I like the fact that if Delta Seventeen can leave the toy collector space in a better place than it was before its existence. Then yeah, we've kind of cool. left something. We've kind of like trailblazed something behind. You know, is it ideal that they cost twenty five dollars US each? It's not ideal. It is kind of going right right now, though. If you look at the other comparable O ring collectors, but whenever we talk to any of them, we're like, we wish we could get it just a little bit lower. So it's not ideal. But in today's world, I objectively, I'd like to say it's it's not terrible. And I mean, look, I can do toy history videos till I'm blue in the face. That's done. There's, you know, there's there's a pain okay. in those. This is something we trailblaze into the future, right? Like this is instead of like backwards facing, 
you know, and reminiscent and interpret and, you know, in interpreting all of that, plus maybe adding some tidbits of information with history stuff. This is planting the seed for going forward. You know what I mean? Yeah. I want to be old and gray by the time the, the Delta 17 footprint has been left on the world. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So, yeah, as yeah. far as prices go, I mean, don't we wish that everything was back to the 1980 or 1970 prices? Right. Holy cow, like a tank of gas, a flat yeah. of eggs, anything, you know, it's like, it's crazy. So, yeah, it's 25 US. That's the going rate. That's how it works. If you don't like, well, you know, it's, that's just how it is, whether you're buying a Spider Man or, a, or, or something else. That's, that's where it sits right now. And, uh, we all wish we could go get a loaf of bread and, and a big bag of groceries for five bucks like it used to be, but it just isn't that way anymore. Yeah. Even just now, my yeah. our, our friends are like sending us photos and saying, um, <laughs> to sending us photos in the chat of their of, of their collections and their setups. Like Gaz literally wow. just sent me that while we were wow while we were doing oh, this, nice. and he's he's been doing some kit bashing and putting his own heads on some of the green shirts. Yeah, you know what I mean. So nice. you know, he's got he's got his own custom head on on a Delta Trooper right now or a Delta oh, Trooper, cool. Trooper, Trooper. So there you go. So nice. there's quite a bit. I'm asking him where he got that extra head sculpt. It's just you know he says no issues so far. Things have been good according to uh, to our buddy Gas. So yeah. Nice. Thank you, Gas. Anyway, let me and fix my do, camera a little bit. Do here. these have the same uh, O-ring technology or you know O-ring construction <laughs> like our original Joes do? So if you wanted to open it up and kind of swap yep. parts for the yep. mailbox, yes. Yes, they're, everything's totally interchangeable except for the female head. So you can take arms off and legs and do this and that, whatever you want. Um, yeah, it's all swappable. It's the exact same technology. The only thing that we've changed is, is uh, swivel wrists. And then we've tried to really get really funky with the accessories to make it a bit more interesting. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you know what? Always love coming on here and chatting toys with you folks, whether it's Delta 17 or whether it's anything really. Yeah. You know, you are, you two are always welcome. So like, yeah, anything that you want to ever share or have updates on, happy to have you both back. Super excited about the line. I'm so excited to see what the future holds for Delta 17. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate yeah. it. The future is, is bright. Like, the future is very bright. Incredible work, guys. Incredible work. And, uh, just just a note on on the price point being that you know you're an independent toy company you came up with this amazing new property um you know doing this kind of from the ground up the fact that you're only at twenty five dollars is incredible <laughs> I gotta say no oh, right okay well thank you yeah appreciate that wholeheartedly it's so so much detail and all the accessories and everything that went into this you know um comparing it to like a a small, a smaller toy company like Super Seven, which isn't that small. They're ch selling their reaction figures for twenty dollars because you know they've got like the more cost. They're not a Hasbro, they're not a Mattel, blah blah blah. blah. The fact that right. you guys are doing this for twenty five bucks isn't yeah. incredible. I got yeah, it. and then with with reaction, yeah. you've only yeah, got cool. five points, five points of articulation. And, exactly. You know they can exactly. probably fit a fit a and whole figure on one block. Exactly. That's what I'm yeah. saying. You're giving us incredible figures oh, with a ton yeah. of articulation, amazing paint deco on them, all sorts of accessories, and a figure stand for only twenty five dollars. I'm selling this for you guys. That's right. You're talking about the, <laughs> the you're talking about the uh, the yeah, the tooling you. block, the tooling block, right, Steve? Like a five yeah. POA figure, you can get all because the parts count for these. I think you said were twenty four pieces 24. 24 just on the body and then you add in the accessories depending on who you're looking at you can get up That's to right. 32 34 36 parts so, for one guy. so so the amount of like you know when you do the steel tooling there's multiple tooling blocks that got to go into the machine in order for you yep. to get the plastic poured in whereas with the five poa figures you won't have as many of those tooling blocks you might have one tooling block for everything you know maybe a second for accessories i don't know right but it's just one of those things yeah, yeah you're you're right if those are already at 20 bucks these are more expensive to make having said that oh, yeah. a lot of those reaction figures do have characters that we didn't get in the o-ring in the right. we didn't get in the o-ring line back in the day right so a lot of people still want those right oh for I've sure i've for looked sure. at a few myself so yeah. yeah no it's with toys it's always buy what you love you know even if you yeah. can't explain it like it's like you know even if you can't say to your your wife or your husband or whatever 
why do you like that? I have no idea. Like I've got stuff in here and people just scratch their heads. Like, what is well, that? And I'm like, I don't know. It's, it's funny, cool, Steve. Though. Is it yeah. somebody actually messaged me today to ask if I wanted to buy his Boulder Hill box? Cause he said, I'm going to be at Joe Fest with it. You want me to bring it to you there? And I'm like, how am I going to get it back here? So I just paid for the shipping. So, you know, why right. am I buying a Boulder Hill box? I have no <laughs> idea. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Also, if you get sick of <laughs> looking at from it, math, Boulder Hill. Yes. Nice. Whenever, whenever you visit your sister again, you can bring it down and I'll take it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, I wanted to we'll hang out again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I wanted yeah. to kind of end on this amazing note from Joshua Robbins here. Uh, it says Toy Habits is all about community, coming together as one and just being there for one another, helping each other out and making toy collecting a joy and a nostalgia that is in all of us so joyous so right. true i mean you know we're, we're we we love toy collecting we are toy collectors ourselves that's what we're all here for i mean we want to bring mm -hmm. the community together and and we went through this we go through the same frustrations all of you guys do collecting toys so we're here to make it more joyful more easier for everybody and just bring you guys the information you need to get the awesome toys you're looking for these are the toys you're looking for yeah yeah and we appreciate everything you guys do you, the, the art the artwork that you put out and uh your website it's like holy cow you put a lot of work into it it's amazing right yeah. and it it is funny i mean toys should be fun i mean for some reason there's a handful of us adults that have chosen to <laughs> kind of remain in that you know that fascination whatever when i was 12 or when i was 10 this blew my mind and so for some reason we're just this is where we choose to be we could all choose to go out and polish rocks or you know learn how to tie knots for the rest of our life or something or like watch that. sports or something yeah i don't know you know there's there's a lot more yeah. serious things to do out there than what we're doing and, and what we're fascinated about but here we are so why not have fun right Totally. Yeah. That's the name of the game. Yeah. You're not having fun. Don't do it. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. It's a, it's a lesson in life, not just for toys, but for anything. If you're not having fun or if you're not enjoying yourself yeah. or it's making you sad or stressed, fix it. Go change something. Yeah, right. So, well, that's cool. awesome. That's why I don't give blood anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so afraid to give blood. I mean, I go for the donuts, but um, you know, yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. Just exactly. My 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 dad finally he gives so much blood. I think he like passed out one time. I'm like, Dad, oh, just take it easy. It's like you're yeah. You're, it's like that episode of The Simpsons. March Simpson just passed out from you know. Right. <laughs> yeah, you've only got so much in you. You know, there's only yeah. so much to give when it comes to yeah. blood. Uh, well, that's awesome. Uh, well, we know uh, we know where we can find you. Ken, where can everybody else find you? Oh, uh, yes. Toy Connections, spelt like on the screen, except yes. no Ken on there, just Toy Connections. Two words. Uh, toy Habits have been great friends, very supportive. Both have been guests on my channel before. I've guested on theirs now a few times. And uh, just part of this massive network that we're all building. And a quick shout out to Mega J Retro because he did do our website. Mm -hmm. And he was the one that got to flick the switch to oh. make the site go live. That's so. Yeah. You know, he got the whole nuclear yeah. reactor, you know, <laughs> so he'll always have that. Like he was the one who physically, you know, he waited yeah. for the signal from us, yeah. but he got to do it and he'll always have that in the bag for him. You know what I mean? And yeah, so just look out for me. I cover GI Joe stuff, wrestling, Transformers. I like to cover a lot of histories. Those are very time intensive though. So mm -hmm. a lot of times I'll try to do a modern toy video mm -hmm. that takes me a little bit less bandwidth, but hopefully still remains interesting. Um, so yeah, um, subscribe if you can, and uh, subscribe here as well if you already haven't. If you're watching here and you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I was going to give uh, Ken's channel, sorry, this way, a, a, a huge shout out because I thoroughly enjoy all of your history videos. They're they're incredible. I don't know which way I'm pointing because it's backwards. Um, there you go. There's so much fun. Your retrospectives, how you weave in, like, pop culture and um, – history about the toys they're they're yeah. amazing i just and uh, always, that's like yeah. my favorite time of day i'm like oh ken's got a new history video up and i sit back on my sofa and relax and just start to like you know uh 
drink in the amazing uh, goodness that is your video. So if you haven't checked out Toy Connections, do so because Ken's got awesome content. And these figures, Delta 17, go to delta17toys.com. Steve, these are awesome. Ken, these are awesome. You guys are going to love, love, love uh, these figures. If you're into O-Ring and classic G.I. Joe, these are going to fit right in. And it's just going to kind of expand your universe and um, kind of reignite that love for, for O-Ring figures. Um, so head over, go shopping, use their their discount code. Was it Delta 10 off? If you get yep, six yep. figures or more, uh, delta17toys.com. And if you're just perusing on Toy Habits on our shop page, there's a link to the Delta 17 Toys as well. So um, please support these guys. You guys have made an incredible product. And we really wow, appreciate someone, it. Thank you for being on. Someone needs to hire you today to be their <laughs> salesperson. Wow. And that's a wrap. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm just going to go work the back room now. Toy Sorceress, <laughs> over to you. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I'm going to go in a corner and cry. It's like, I can't sell like that. That's amazing. She does, yeah, she does a phenomenal job. Yeah. Um, what uh, what what socials are you guys on? Uh, we're on Instagram, Facebook, Delta 17 Toys. Um, we do have a Twitter, but I've, I don't know. I haven't been back there for months, so. I used to work for Twitter, so don't even bother. Oh, okay. All <laughs> right. It's called Twitter and not X. You mean, yeah. you mean so, X? Or whatever the heck it's called now. Call it X. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway. You need well, to X um, the heck out. <laughs> I know, yeah, seriously. Uh, well, thank you guys for coming on. And yeah, happy to have you at any point if you want to discuss future stuff. Really looking forward to the helicopter. So, make it happen. I know yeah. you're going to do it, and Ready. it's going to be quality. <laughs> Well, thanks. Yeah, we're, yeah. We'll, we'll try for two vehicles in Wave 2. We're, we're not sure. We have to look at, uh, you know, sales have been very good, but um, with every new wave comes a lot of expenses, right? So we mm -hmm. shall see what happens. Sounds good. Well, thank you, everyone, for well, joining congratulations us. Congratulations on the launch. Yes, thank totally. You. Yeah, especially uh, folks on the East Coast hanging out late night tonight, uh, folks on the West Coast, everywhere in the world. Uh, thanks for joining us. And yeah, wish you all the best mm -hmm. with the uh, Delta 17 line. It is only the beginning. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. All right, y'all. And we will see everybody next Maybe. week. Bye.